Now you can laugh about it all you want, but God don't take it funny. That every one of you, this talking to save people, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel or his body in sanctification and honor. We're supposed to live a sanctified life. Not a wicked life of, of fornication and, and adultery. And don't 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 argue with me that one guy is in here uh, last week and uh anyway, I ain't gonna go into that. Not in the lust of concupiscence sexual sin, even as the Gentiles which know not God. See people that don't know God they shack up and they uh, they, homosexuality and every other kind of wickedness you can think of. Mm. That no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter because uh, the Lord is the avenger of all such as we also have forewarned you and testified. Now look at this verse 7. Uh, you'd be good to memorize this little verse. For God hath not called us unto uncleanness but unto holiness. Did you know if you're saved you're, you're called the holy living? That means you get rid of your alcoholic beverage. Yeah. Thank God I've been saved 50 years, 8 months. Never had a bottle of beer. Never had any whiskey. Never had any wine. Never had no alcohol. And haven't wanted any. Because I'm what? I'm set apart from it. Because I'm living like God wants me to live. Praise God. And not call me but to holiness. He therefore that despiseth, despises that. Uh, you despise God and you want to get drunk and shack up and all that. You despise God and you know who your daddy probably is? It ain't Heavenly Father. That's well, the prince of the power of the air. That sounds like, oh, that sounds like a nice, that's the devil. Prince of the power of the air, the work of disobedience. He's wandered up and down Ridgewood here. He sneaks into Victor's Motel across there. Sneaks in, sneaks in the happy times over there yeah. where Joanne lives. Yeah. <laughs> but God, who hath also given unto us... See, if you got the Holy Ghost in you, you ain't going to live like a wicked sinner. You're going to separate from the world. Old things are going to be passed away and all things are going to become new, you understand. So, that's what the old world of people do. For the Lord himself shall descend, verse 16 again, from heaven with a shout, the voice of an archangel and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Did, did anybody find that song, Meeting in the Air? Is it in our hymnal? I, I, don't I don't think so. I I'll get the words for I it. You know, I'll, get, I'll put it up on this thing. I find, you can find anything on YouTube. Meeting in the air. I get well. I'll play that for you. Yeah, meet me there. That's a good song too. But this is the meeting in the air. There's it's going to be a meeting. Huh? Phil Collins. I know it has something to do with meeting in the air of night. No, I'll, 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 I get this. I'm, I'm looking for a certain song. I'll get it on the YouTube here in a while. Yeah. So, uh, so shall we ever be with the Lord? We'll meet him in the air, the dead in Christ wise first, and we that are here meet him. And then all of you that won't listen, all of you folks that won't get saved, you'll be left here to go through seven years of tribulation. The first three and a half years will be bad. The last three and a half years will be unbearable. But I'll be gone, amen. And if you're saved, you'll be gone, amen. amen. Glory. Look at the last verse and we're done. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. You see, the Thessalonians, they thought they were in the tribulation. You ain't seen nothing like what that tribulation would be. People would be, uh, during the tribulation, they'll be bitten by scorpions and, and, and there'll be stones falling down on them. Instead of repenting, uh, you know what they're going to do? You know what the wicked sinners are going to do during the tribulation when all this wicked come? You know what they're going to do? Curse God! Instead of repenting, just like you curse God when you shack up and when you get drunk and when you live like the devil, you curse God and you deny Him and you follow the devil and you're going to follow the devil right on to hell! How come you preach so strong like that? Because I don't want you to go to hell. 
I care about you. God loves you. Comfort one another with these words. I'm, I'm going to heaven. I hope you are. Amen. And if you're not, you can. Amen? Amen. How many of you got your ticket? ticket. Born again. Glory. If you're not 100% sure, you need to pray the prayer today and make sure. If you're not 100% sure here in church or out in the YouTube or Facebook, whatever it is, be sure. Be sure. Almost persuaded now to believe. Oh yeah, that's a great song. Almost persuaded. But almost, you know what that means? To be lost. Almost but lost. That close but missing it. Follow Him. Let us pray. Lord, thank You for the blood of Christ. Thank You for the power of the resurrection. I trusted in April 4th, 1969, myself and my dear wife, 19310 Glenwood Lane, New Berlin, Wisconsin. Dear one, do you remember when you were saved? You say, I can't remember. Then you're not saved. I don't remember. You're not saved. If you get saved, you remember. It's real. God speaks to you and He snatches you from the fires of hell and the love for sin and gives you a love for the blessed Savior. Glory. You say, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. Pray this prayer with me, church. Pray this prayer with me, internet. This is a prayer. Be 100% sure. Repent and be saved. Dear Lord Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. I can't save myself. I try. I try to clean my life up. But I humble myself under the mighty hand of God today. And I turn from my sins. And I call upon you. I repent. I change my mind. I believe you shed your blood and rose again. And I ask you right now, dear Lord, to save me. I'm calling upon you. Lord, you've said, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I'm calling upon you right now. Save me. Our heads are bowed. Our eyes are closed. You're here today in the auditorium. And you say this, I wasn't 100% sure. But I asked God to save me and I trusted in Him alone, nothing of me but all of Him. And I called upon Him now for salvation. And I meant it with my heart. Would you slip your hand up? Just slip your hand up high. Let me see your hand. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Number of hands here. I hope there have been many out there in, in the internet audience too. Thank you, Lord. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Simple faith in the blood of Christ and the power of His resurrection. Glory to God. Sins forgiven. A home in heaven. A Savior, Jesus Christ. A Father, Heavenly Father. A blessed Holy Ghost living in us that convicted us and saved us and sealed us and lives within us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for these decisions. Bless this wonderful meal that's been prepared for us. Bless our fellowship around the table. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. amen. God bless you.